QGM sent out this USB 3.0 and USB-C multi-monitor docking station for my unbiased view. As you are watching WidsTube and if it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking. Here is a review smartphones, smartwatches, laptops and their accessories etc. So if you're into all that kind of stuff, consider subscribing. Before I start this review, QGM has also agreed to sponsor a giveaway of this USB docking station to one lucky winner. All you gotta do is subscribe to this channel. In doing so, you will not miss out any upcoming giveaway. Like this video and comment down below to confirm your entry. You also need to follow QGM's Facebook group linked in the video description and to double up your chance of winning, you can comment on the pinned post on their Facebook group. I will announce the winner in one week on my Instagram, Twitter, Discord and the community posts. So good luck, hurry up and keep an eye out. Read the description of this video for more details. Alright, now let's start with price. It's listed on Amazon for 79 US dollar or 89 Canadian dollar. The price may vary at seller's discretion. I have provided the direct Amazon link to this docking station in the video description, be sure to check it out. Keep in mind if you are the lucky winner, you will get this for free so don't miss out to enter. Now a while back I did a video for a workaround to get dual and even triple monitor home office setup and the video is linked at the end. Basically for that workaround I have used a USB 3.0 to HDMI adapter and connected them via a USB 3.0 to times 4 USB 3.0 adapter which went to my laptop's USB type C 3.1 port via a 3-in-1 hub with an HDMI port. This cable inception at that time cost me 90 Canadian dollar. Now with this pandemic a lot of people are working from home and I bet at your home office desk you certainly wouldn't mind the magical work productivity boost by a dual or even a triple monitor setup. I personally have been using this triple monitor setup for my full time work in this YouTube channel and I can't stress how helpful this multi monitor setup has proven to be. So if you're looking for a productivity boost at your home office setup, let's find out what magic this 89 Canadian dollar QGM multi-monitor docking station can do. Now keep in mind with this budget price, you not only get a dual HDMI for a dual extended monitor setup, that is both monitor shows different content, but you can also connect a third monitor via the VGA port, which unfortunately duplicates one of these HDMI. But don't worry, later on during this video, I have shown you a workaround to get a fully operational extended triple monitor setup with this docking station. Now let's quickly talk about the specs and then I'll show you the setup process in real time. By the way, there is nothing special with unboxing but it came with an OTG USB-A to USB Type-C cable with a lanyard. This OTG cable is so helpful. My Asus ZenBook 3 only has a USB 3.1 Type-C port. So without this OTG port, I cannot connect this docking station to my laptop. On my other Acer Spin 5 laptop, there is a USB 3.0 port, so I don't need this OTG cable there, but it certainly is helpful. Hey, a cool fact is that if you don't need this OTG cable for your laptop, you can connect a PS controller to your phone via this OTG cable for an awesome gaming experience. Check it out. Well inside the box they have also provided a USB type A to type C mail cable along with the user manual. Now in total there are 8 ports on this USB hub. There are 2 USB 3.0 port on one side which you can use to connect printer, keyboard, mouse, external hard drive and if you feel that they aren't enough you can easily purchase a USB 3.0 extender. These USB 3.0 ports support data transfer rates up to 5 gigabytes per second. At the bottom there is a VGA port to connect a monitor. Please note VGA cannot transmit audio, it can only transmit video at 1920 by 1080 pixels at 60 hertz refresh rate. Now from my testing if you connect a third monitor via the VGA port it will only be able to duplicate one of these HDMI. So hang on at the end I have shown a workaround for these. There is a Gigabyte RJ45 Ethernet port which supports 10, 100 and 1000 Mbps data transfer speed. On the other side there are two HDMI ports both of which can support a resolution of 2048 by 1440 pixels at 60 Hz. But keep in mind if you go for a triple monitor extended setup the maximum resolution for each of these video port will be only 1920 by 1080 pixels at 60 Hz. There are two convenient SD and TF card reader slot to transfer data up to 1 or 4 megabytes per second. Finally, there is a Type-C female port for charging. 
Now with all that said, let's connect this all up to my Asus ZenBook 3. As mentioned earlier, since my laptop has a USB 3.1 Type-C port, I will have to use this OTG cable to connect this hub. Now before I connect this hub, let me connect all the inputs like this USB Type-A port for my Havit keyboard. Now since I have a lot of stuff to be attached to my system, I will use this XZ USB 3.0 extender which will only cost $16 and you can find its link in the video description. Here is where I will plug in the Havit RGB mouse, my printer and finally my 10TB external hard drive. Okay, moving on to the bottom side, let me plug in the RJ45 Ethernet port. I really like this as I upload huge video files on YouTube and it's certainly faster over Ethernet versus Wi-Fi. I have an Acer monitor which is very dated and I barely use it so for this video purpose, since it has VGA and DVI, I will connect it via this VGA port. Going on to the other side, let's hook up the two of my Asus VP228 gaming monitor. One of these monitor will be used for audio output as they both have a built-in speaker. Finally, I can attach an SD card if needed. So now let's power it all up via the USB Type-C charger and let's go ahead and plug this whole 18-in-1 adapter to my laptop and see if it all works. So as you can see it's all working great but this Acer monitor is a duplicate of one of this Asus monitor. Let's do some digging by going under the display settings and identify all these monitors. So you can see the monitor number 3 and this Acer monitor connected via VGA has the same content. So technically with my laptop, I'm only able to have a dual extended monitor setup. By the way, for most of the home office setup, a dual extended monitor setup is more than enough. To further customize, you can press Windows plus P button to get the projection options like duplicate, which is what I have, extend or second screen only. So if all you want is a dual extended monitor setup, you now know that it's possible via this QGM USB hub. But let's say if you want a triple extended monitor setup, then this is what you need to do. Get a USB 3.0 to HDMI adapter. I got it from Amazon for only 20 Canadian dollar. Again, you will find it link in the video description. Now, since my dated Acer monitor does not have an HDMI cable, I have used the DVI to HDMI adapter, which also I got it from Amazon for only 8 Canadian dollar. Again, you will find its link in the video description. Now, let's connect all this up to a spare USB 3.0 port on my XZ USB 3.0 adapter and wait for the magic. Okay, now let's check if this triple extended monitor setup is working or not by going in the display settings. So as you can see, there are four monitors. Number one is my laptop's display. Number two and three are this Asus VP228 gaming monitor connected via HDMI. And number four is this dated Acer monitor connected via the USB 3.0 to HDMI adapter. Now, it's really important to orient the monitors properly to your desired place, so it's easier to drag the tabs around. Like, it's really a bad idea to place the display number 2 in between the display number 3 and 4. You get it what I mean here. Either go 1, 2, 3, 4 from the right or left for an easier workflow depending on your preference. Let me give you a quick demo for that. Again, you can use the quick shortcut to projection setting by pressing Windows plus P and you can select whatever fits your need. Finally, from this display setting page, you can also change scaling and layout from landscape to portrait, which is certainly helpful for coders and software developers. Now in terms of gaming, it's certainly great for occasional gaming. I have played few titles via this setup, but when you have a triple monitor extended setup, don't expect a 2K or a 4K display output at 60Hz. You only will get 1080 pixel resolution at 60Hz, but it's definitely not bad. I've done some tests for thermal throttling and I find that overall this metal design helps a lot. 
It does not get intensively hot with regular tasks, but during a gameplay or video editing it does get a bit hot, but I have never seen any bottlenecks, there is no video degrading or legs. I have used this for almost 2 weeks and it works great for my setup. In terms of portability, it's also very handy. It's super lightweight, pocketable and easy to carry on the go. The overall design is also quite robust and solid. It's metal all around unlike some other brands which have a plastic casing. So here's my final verdict. If you're planning to set up a multi-monitor home office setup, your search ends here. Instead of spending your money on those expensive docking stations, this QGM does just great without breaking the bank. You can extend dual or even up to triple monitor along with the ability to attach a ton of accessories like keyboard, mouse, printer, SD card, hard drive, etc. simultaneously charging your laptop as showed above in real time demo. My personal favorite things about this QGM docking stations are the sleek metallic design, extremely lightweight and portable, the included USB Type-C OTG cable which I can use for my laptop and if not I can use it for mobile gaming via the PS controller. This docking station does not get hot with prolonged use and does all sort of data transfer effortlessly. I am still able to connect the Ethernet port for faster upload speeds. Overall, I can highly recommend this QGM 18 USB triple monitor setup hub for anyone who is planning for a great productive home office setup. I see why this QGM has a lot of 5 star reviews on Amazon, you can check it out for yourself. I bet for now you won't find all these good features at this price point. So for your dual or triple monitor home office setup, this will be a very good investment. Make sure to take the advantage of the free giveaway and subscribe so you don't miss out any upcoming videos. With that said, I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Also follow me on my other social media network for early preview to upcoming videos and free giveaways. Links are in the description of all my videos. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.